Good morning, everyone, on this the first Sunday in May. I hope everyone has had a chance to be outside as the weather is getting a wee bit warmer. The farmers have started cultivating the fields and planting a few crops. Bulbs and buds are ready to burst. The yellow finches are here. I know I have been noticing more of nature's small wonders as I work by the window. Please keep Marlene and her family in your prayers as they mourn the loss of Cease. They had a small family service on Wednesday to celebrate a life well lived. Please keep Mary and Clute in your thoughts and prayers as well. She was sent to Midland Hospital on Monday with difficulty breathing and heart failure. Her COVID-19 test came back negative and she is feeling better. She will hopefully be back to the villa soon. We are thankful for our hospitals and the villa for always taking such good care of Marion. Both Kathleen and Dawn at Woods Park have also had negative COVID-19 results, thank goodness. Kathleen is still able to commute back and forth to work and see her dad. She is grateful for her church family connection. Congratulations to Michelle Hunter as she co-wrote an article that was recently published in the Journal of the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Her article on telemedicine in treatment of long-term care patients likely has become even more timely since isolation and quarantine has made telemedicine much more viable. Elmville has wonderful professionals who are truly making a difference in the world. Well done, Michelle. Happy birthday wishes go out to my daughter Shannon who turns 25 this week. As well, happy birthday to Rick, Marg and Amy. Remember to send celebrations or prayer concerns to me to be announced if you would like. Have a wonderful week.